Allegations that Peter's ice cream hindered and prevented competition. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Sets. So the ACCC is making some allegations about Peter's ice cream. If we jump over here, we're all familiar with the brands, I'm sure. You know, nice, good ice cream. And well, the argument is that there's a reason you can only get certain ice cream at petrol stations. Now, I will be brutally honest, the cost of these things, at particularly petrol stations, is so much... I just go to Aldi and pay two bucks for a box of ten because it is a bit of a luxury. I can't do it. We've got too many kids. Five bucks a pop each. No way. No way. So let's have a look at this, everyone. Peter's allegedly hindered or prevented competition in ice cream supply. The ACCC has instituted federal court proceedings against Australian or Australasian Food Group Proprietary Limited trading as Peter's Ice Cream, alleging it engaged in conduct which hindered or prevented competition for the supply of single-wrapped ice creams to petrol and convenience retailers. The ACCC alleges that between November 2014 and December 2019, Peter's engaged in exclusive dealing by entering into and giving effective to an agreement with PFD Food Services Proprietary Limited to distribute its single wrapped ice cream and frozen confectionery products to petrol and convenience retailers nationally. The agreement contained a condition that PFD could not distribute any competing ice cream products in certain locations around Australia. During the term of the distribution agreement, PFD made requests to distribute competing ice cream products to petrol and convenience retailers naturally, nationally, but these requests were rejected by Peters. Well, then why didn't PFD not sign up to it? But anyway, the ACCC alleges that for new entrants, PFD was the only distributor capable of distributing single wrapped ice cream products to national petrol and convenience retailers on a commercially viable basis. Unlike PFD, other potential distributors did not have a national frozen food route to these retailers. The ACCC was also argue, will also argue it was not commercially viable for new entrants to incur the cost of establishing their own distribution network to distribute single wrapped ice creams nationally. Well, this is one of the issues we have with a country as big as Australia is. We allege that as a result of the agreement and Peter's conduct, other ice cream suppliers had no commercial vi commercially viable way to distribute their single serve ice creams to national petrol and convenience retailers, a Triple C chair, Rod Sims said. I mean, is it really that big a deal? Honestly. Our case is that the distribution agreement and Peter's conduct effectively raised barriers of entry which hindered or prevented potential new entrants into the market to supply single-serve ice cream products to petrol and convenience retailers. Well, if there was enough demand, if there was enough demand for, well, maybe there should just be more competition with AFD. Maybe there's not enough demand. How much is there in the ice cream business to start distributing to these areas? We also allege that a substantial, a substantial purpose of Peter's engaging in the conduct was to protect its market position from competitors as one of only two major suppliers of single wrapped ice creams who together held a combined market share of 95% during the relevant time, Mr. Sims said. We allege that this conduct received reduced competition and may have deprived, deprived ice cream lovers of a variety of choice or the benefit of lower prices when purchasing an ice cream at one of these stores. I. I really don't care in the slightest. This, I mean, what do you think, guys? What do you reckon? You know, during the course of the ACCC's investigations, Peters advised the ACCC without admission that it has recently entered into a new agreement with AFP, which no longer includes a term restricting AFP from distributing ice cream products from other ice cream producers. The ACCC is seeking deck relations, pecuniary penalties, a compliance program order, and costs. So, background. Peters is one of the largest suppliers of single-serve ice cream products in Australia, which includes brand names such as Drumstick, Maxi Bond, Connoisseur, Frosty Fruits, and Billabong. 
During the re relevant period, Peter's directly distributed most of its ice cream to areas in Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane, while PFD distributed or resupplied Peter's ice cream in the majority of other areas. Exclusive dealing. Dealing occurs when one person trading with another imposes some restrictions on the other's freedom to choose with whom, in what, or where they deal. Exclusive dealing is against the law only when it has the purpose or effect, or like the effect, of substantially lessening competition. Well, too bad the government likes doing it whenever they want. You know, it'd be great if we had more than one reserve bank, but that's a whole other topic. So let's have a look here at the, at the, uh, this is the notice of filing that they've submitted. So in this pro proceeding, the applicant ACCC alleges that the respondent trading as Peter's engaged in the practice of exclusive dealing in, contraven in contravention of Section 471 of the Competitions and Consumer Act during the period from at least the 21st of November 2014 to in or around December 2019. During the relevant period under the terms of a distribution agreement entered into on or about the 21st of November 2014, Peter's supplied its ice cream products to PFD Food Services and PFD distributed Peter's ice cream products by way of resupply or through the provision of distribution services on the condition that PFD would not distribute competing ice cream products in various geographic areas throughout Australia. During the relevant period, Peter's was one of two major suppliers of single wrapped ice cream and frozen confectionery products distributed to petrol and convenience store retailers. Peter's used PFD along with its own frozen transport trucks to distribute its single serve ice cream products to PNC retailers throughout Australia. Peter's exclusive dealing conduct had the purpose, effect, and or like the effect of substantially lessening comp competition in the market for the supply of single serve ice cream products to PNC retailers or alternatively to retailers of single serve ice cream products in Australia. The inability of would be competition, sub uh, competition suppliers of single serve ice cream products to use PFD to distribute their products hindered and or prevented new entry and expansion in the relevant market. PFD was the only commercial viable option available to new entrants to distribute those products to PNC retailers who operate national retail petrol and convenience store businesses. A substantial portion of Peter's engaging in the exclusive dealing conduct was to protect its market position from competitors as one of the two major suppliers of single serve ice cream products who together had a combined market share of over 95% the relevant period important facts and i'll let you go through this on your own everyone so what do you think what do you think do you think it's a big deal or is there a market there for an alternative supplier that can provide opportunities to more it's ice cream you know the a triple c ignored me informing them of you know a cryptocurrency scam ripping off people and using a ASIC registered company, but going after ice cream distribution. What do you reckon? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below, guys. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Maybe I'd just rather stop at Aldi and get a cheaper full box <laughs> for the money. As always, if you're a fan of the channel, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you want to support us, there are a few ways you can. You can use any of our affiliate links you find below from Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says or Teespring. You can use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint or support us via PayPal. Take care, everyone. I'll see you next time.